everyone, I'm Lillian. And I'm Felipe. We are the Postmodern Family. We are Americans living in the UK, searching for Great Britain. We make three new videos every week, and we thank you so much for watching them. And if you'd like to, click subscribe. You can do that now. And we are reacting in this episode to a 1962 clip of folks in London discussing springtime. So I love, love these um, windows, win yeah. windows yeah. into interviewing the man on the street mm. from different eras because it's not actors acting. It's like just true blue mm. people. Yeah. And you hear their manner of speech. You hear their phraseology. You hear their values. You see their looks. You, you just learn a lot about the culture at the time. So let's have a look. So 1962 <clears throat> Londoners. Yeah, so... Yeah, 1962. How else does spring make you feel? Oh, I don't know, happy. Free? Mm -hmm. Free. <laughs> Free, you've Fun just got names. <laughs> and um, green trees and water and birds and things. Well, and what, how do they make you feel? What do you want to do? Run. Run? Yeah, all the way down there and back in. In Go London? Mm, anywhere. I see you started off spring in the right way. Yes. How else has <laughs> it affected you? Oh, I don't know. I think you sort of liven up again, don't you? Winter time, you're, you're just dead. You stay indoors and work. As soon as the sun comes out, well, you just drop everything and go, don't you? Go really? where? Out, anywhere. And how does it affect you? Well, it doesn't affect me a lot, <laughs> um, but I noticed today that uh, my daughter's tortoise has come out of hibernation and that's wandering around the garden again now. It makes me feel elated and um, I think it's the best time for exploring London, to walk around in nice weather. It makes me feel a bit mad at times, you know, like that. Mad in what way? What do you do? Well, uh, it doesn't usually affect, well, as I say, my friends and I, it's about 11 o'clock at night, you know, when somebody rings up and go out for a drink, you know, and then you... Well, the other night we went round. Oh, well, the sun's closed then. Well, we went sort of, you know, round London in our night clothes, you know, sort of. London in your night clothes? Yes, you know, nighties and all that. In your nighties? How does spring fever affect you? Well, a great deal, I think. It makes me feel much gayer, much happier. Primroses, you know, the lot. It makes me buy things. When you put on your new spring clothes, does it make you feel different? Definitely, without a doubt. First of all, the pleasure in buying them. Um, getting out of tweeds and getting out of heavy, heavy clothes and getting into summer clothes make you feel lighter, make you feel you want to bounce along and just feel gay and you get into wide frilly petticoats and they just seem to do something as well. Um, I think they do something to the men as well, they make them more, you know, they make you look at you much more if you're in summer clothes, they do somehow. What about boyfriends? Um, oh, we change, change them. them rapidly at this time of year. Why? All of a sudden you just change from the winterites to the summerites. Yes. There's certain men you go out with in the winter and certain you go out with in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> um, some men are better in the winter, you know, when it's fireside, co you know, nice and cosy around the fireside. And then there are better sportsmen in the summer when you get out in the sun and go down to the beach and everything like yeah, that. It's dark glasses better. on. Yeah, <laughs> you know, those types. But uh, definitely a change of men. How is spring fever affecting you? Well, it affects me all the year round. Well, I feel ten years younger after the weather we've had this year. Do you actually sort of feel this in your bones? Oh, absolutely. Well, I've been creeping about all year. I can walk now. Do you notice it about you? Oh, absolutely. Everybody you see has got a smile on their face, including you. Look at you. Haven't they? <laughs> I've got a huge smile. <laughs> oh, so first impressions? Oh, it <clears throat> seems like it would have been a nice time to be alive. Why is that? Well, they're all very nicely dressed and mm. modestly dressed. Mm -hmm. um, and their accents are so different. Like, mm. I, I really feel like it, it just feels more feminine. The women are more feminine mm -hmm. and they're, they're softer speaking. Mm -hmm. uh, and even in their facial expressions and their mannerisms, they're mm -hmm. not so out there and mm -hmm. like direct. even though they're saying they're doing things quite out there yes but they say it in this like sheepish kind of oh, like, oh yeah we like to do this we change boyfriends oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, mm-hmm. so it's a bit more feminine. Uh-huh. I really like that that guy with um, he was just holding his broom like he's the, he was just he's a street sweeper. He was it just sweep, like. yeah. And yeah, then, yeah. But yeah, I mm-hmm. don't think we would see that today. Anyone interviewing a street sweeper and mm-hmm. him just standing there like well, he <laughs> wasn't he wasn't covered head to toe in high vis, <laughs> which looks absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> you never know, health and safety. Yeah, health and safety. They didn't see you without yeah. that, that high vis. <laughs> the funniest bit about it is that the English don't realize how ubiquitous the high vis is in their society. Yeah. They think, oh no, it's just a few people. If you work in the blah blah blah, yeah. you wear high vis. But you go any other place in the world that I've been, at least, mm-hmm. and there is nowhere near as yeah. much high vis. And it's actually one of those <clears throat> things that, like, um, a business would hand out to their yeah. employees as a part of their uniform. It's not something that you yeah. would go and buy and have to supply. Yeah, yeah. So that's why. When I see someone in high vis in America, you think cop, you think cop like police yeah. officer yeah. or a, a nurse or an ambulance yeah. person, yeah. you know, not like some street um, rando, guy, <laughs> rando motorcyclist, for yeah, example, yeah, yeah, wearing a really high vis vest so that he makes sure he's seen <laughs> at night. <laughs> I know, but really, like, it, look at the way they were dressed in this video, and then look at the way people dress today, and you're, yeah. it's very sad how we've how we've let go as a society. <clears throat> In mm. terms of what we should wear out in public, mm. all the women's hair were nicely styled. They were yeah. all really nicely done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can't just wake up and have your hair look like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, th- so then I think the 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 commentary on dress is particularly uh, more devastating in the context of Americans because Americans just dress like oh, absolute slobs. Just absolute. It's so shambolic. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Just. Crocs and yeah, yeah. and jeans and tattered t-shirts and just, well and then the sweatpants and, and the sweatpants jogging unbelievable clothes. yeah basketball yeah. and football jerseys everywhere yeah. socks and sandals it's, it's just very different it's shocking so here it is a level up mm-hmm. but still nowhere near that clip yeah nowhere near <clears> that <throat> yeah. yeah and then like the, the love- that young couple in the beginning they yeah. look very the guy looked very smart. yeah he, he looked like, good yeah he was just like i'm just here you know yeah and it, it it's you could see the dynamic between his nature and her nature his and, steady sort of yeah and she was and just, like, just like la, 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 la. i just want to i just want to run down there and back <laughs> Sweet, yeah, it know? was. It was very cute. It and then, cute. and then the next couple with the baby, um, another level cover- up in maturity of a couple. Yeah, right? she was wearing a, like a yeah. covering, which was standard for the time yeah. to keep your hair nice. And I see you protected. started spring out right with a baby, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the guy was like, "I don't know. It doesn't really affect me." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I feel like there's such a there's more of a contrast between male and female. In mm. personality and what yeah. you express and how you express it back then, yeah, um, yeah. So she, the, all of the women were more emotional, talking about their feeling and you yeah. know, and then the yeah, guys. So he's like, but were, how do you feel? And yeah. the guy was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't affect me. Yeah, much. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, but all the girls are like, it makes me feel free. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's but um nice. i was a little bit um surprised at some of the commentary from the girls yeah, like i'll yeah. just go around london in my night clothing yeah that's What's weird that? that's strange yeah I, maybe it was an exaggeration or just you think it was boasting. a joke or something or no, just lined I think, up i think people like to <clears throat> boast preposterous things when they're on tv you know so it wasn't saying? real i don't know maybe it was mm. but mm. Um, but she probably still wore her coat, like a like mm. a coat. So she mm. could have gone out on her nightie, but put a coat over it, mm. and you wouldn't see. Oh, I see. So it was more like the the risk of being found out Maybe. that you're in nighty. Yeah, nighty. yeah. Oh, I, I don't see. know. And then the girl saying we change. It was such we frivolous changed. talk. Mm-hmm. Such frivolous. The frivolity of their speech. I, mm. I was very taken by. Yeah, so well, I mean, we just we get out of our tweets, you know, the heavy clothing and get into fresh and flowery and blah. And, oh, yes, in the winter it's fireside and warm and cozy, <laughs> and then in summertime it's sportsmen, you know, it's just 
got to go to the beach. They're serious matters in life. What are you on about? They're just probably, they did look like young, you know, mm. late teens. Yeah. 20s. But it just goes to show okay. that only in a stable, civilized, affluent society mm. could people have those sorts of concerns and thoughts oh, yeah. in their mind. Yeah, that reminds me because, you know, coronavirus happened. <clears throat> Sorry, is it low that I'm saying coronavirus instead of COVID-19? <laughs> COVID-19. 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 <laughs> I think he does this, right? We're gonna blow <laughs> the wind of God. <laughs> I blow the wind of God. So what I was saying was we just... It, mm. summer uh, spring just began when the mm. lockdown happened yeah. and then like england just like bloomed, bloomed. yeah <laughs> the sun fun. was out all the time the sky was clear and can you imagine all of these poor british people in their homes going oh, i'm gonna go run yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it is quite devastating actually it, the, so, the weather has been so beautiful and can um, you imagine the people who don't have a garden i know well yeah. we know people like that yeah but they live in America, but mm. but still, like, it's mm. it's tough. It's tough. Yeah. yeah. So we're very grateful to have our garden. It was a great move. Well mm. done, honey. Um, mm. Finding us a house and moving into it and fixing it all up Straight so we can have in. a garden for the COVID nineteen lockdown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we put in an offer about ten k under the asking. Mm -hmm. It was the first. It was before they had publicly advertised the house no they had because no, no, that's no. how we found out about it oh right right well it was before we the they first... officially vis allowed visitors that's right they didn't we were the first people to see the house so the guy was like look i want other people to see and see what other offers i have but if you offer the asking i'll sell it to you right now. yeah i'll take it off and i was like boom we're in <sighs> and i then i second thought i after that i was like second guessing myself like wow wait a minute should i have waited to see the market and maybe people weren't wanting it and yeah. he would accept my my offer yeah, but, but i didn't think that was likely because it was already the off the asking price was already under all of the other mm. houses that were on the yeah. market for our area so yeah. yeah it was a good job yeah we hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below and leave us links to videos that you think we should react to. And if you really like what we do, you can buy some merchandise through Teespring. There are t-shirts, mugs, and tote bags. And we're soon going to come out with a new product line working on some cartoon renditions of Lillian and I. I'm looking for an artist uh, actively, so we'll see what comes of that. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.